What episode are we on, Wes? I think it's uh, I think it's eighty eight. Eighty eight. Mm. Des Bryant Mike. episode. Des Bryant. Mike is Michael Irvin eighty eight. I think so. Isaac Bruce. D Lamb eighty eight. Isaac Bruce eighty. Eighty. 88. That's right. Tory Holt eighty one. one. Probably was a lot it? of oh, good eighty eights. Was... was Tony Gonzalez eighty eight or eighty seven? Mm. I think he was eighty seven. Mm. Was there an eighty eight on that Rams team? Was like Pro? Whose son was eighty eight? I thought. Maybe not. Not that not important. Remember. Episode eighty-eight. Little preview of what's to come. Uh, we've been a little sporadic with our uh, non-bachelorette talk. There's not been a lot of stuff to talk about. Dog not, days. That should be an excuse. Shouldn't be an excuse. We should be on our shit. I think we eh, both have some I think traditional it's a, you know life stuff going on that is uh, I think kind of taking precedent. But that's true. Football starting, so it's grind <clears> time, baby. Honestly, it's camp I think for that's us a fine also. excuse. It's a fine excuse, honestly. There, who wants to hear about like pre de, like July baseball or like Not me? Uh, like we could talk live golf. You know, I'll talk all day mm-hmm. on that. Yeah, not interested. Um, so yeah, dog days for everyone. It's camp time. It's camp season. Later in the episode, we're going to be tearing every quarterback in the NFL. Stick around within within reason. There's like we got 35 or 40 quarterbacks. We're gonna throw them in a tier maker, and we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna create some old some old uh, some old content for the people. So every stick quarterback for that. that really realistically could potentially start a game this year, we're gonna take and snap. I yeah. think. Yeah. May, mm, I just thought of one guy at the top of my head that probably is not on there that I think will start games this year. Eh, uh, bonus. We'll give him out at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you uh, Stick around. we didn't put Jacoby Brissett on here, so if you're wondering where he fell on the list, I'm all sorry. All the NC State, th- NC State. I think so. All the Ooh. all my NC, all my my Wolf Pack. You'll get you'll get your content too. Jacoby Brissett's mom and dad apologies ahead of time that he was yeah. not on the tier list, but stick around for that. That'll be fun. Uh, we actually are going to talk a little bit of baseball. The trade deadline came and went. Ooh. There was a big move. Some of you may have heard about. Wes, go ahead. Before we talk uh, trade deadline, uh, Vince Scully died last night. Yeah, yeah, that was sad. That is he was sad. one of the only guys that I would like actually listen to. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't mean, care about the Dodgers. I could be wa- watching them play like the Diamondbacks, and I would just like throw it on his background noise. Greatest voice of all time. The Pretty greatest good. play-by-play man to ever live. Uh, one of the very few unassailable greatest of all times in no any profession. Question. No uh, he, you know, you look at every one of these guys that came after your Costas is your Al Michaels. They're all kind of doing a Vince Scully impression to a degree. Yeah. To do that as long as he did the solo the course. I mean, solo booth until he was what? 80s. Yeah. Oh, maybe 90. Cause he was what? 95 when he died. I think. Uh, and he, yeah. I think or 93 or in, five or something. Born in 27. So that'd be 95. Right. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, how many years ago did he retire from doing that? Like two or three, probably. Uh, maybe a bit. Yeah, four. You know, was not he that doing that until ago. his nineties? Probably. Dude was an animal. Yeah. And that's the other thing is he didn't really. I wasn't listening or watching every Dodgers game, but it didn't feel like there was much of a drop off in terms of his ability. Like yeah. we have our Lee Corsos and Dick Vitales now, where it's like, oh, uh, God, just a, I mean, just trotting him out there, and it's sad. Not Dude, great. Lee Corso needs to stop. Yeah, it's kind of tough to watch, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, Vince Scully, when you look back through it, you go through almost every great sports highlight of the last hundred years. He's he's on a lot of them, like the the Joe Montana catch, 
the Kirk Gibson. Yeah, home you don't even run. realize that was him. Every, Kirk I mean, Gibson. every World Series there for like a forty-year stretch, probably he called a lot of good football calls. Best to ever do it. Yeah, greatest. I don't greatest have much more time. to say. No, R.I.P. Sad. Live a long, Enjoy to him. Live, live a long, good life. Also, a little more saleable goat status. Bill Russell also died. Also, died, a few days yeah. of each other. Yeah, I have been watching some old Bill Russell tape on uh, NBA TVs, running a bunch of his old games. And during the day, I'll pop those on. And boy, that is that is a different type of basketball in the 1960s. Yeah. It's Quite wild. The mismatch, Bill Russell, real real tough cover. Yeah, it's not even that he really scores that much because most of the games are like against Will Chamberlain. But just the way they played was so strange. Yeah. I now see why they got 50 rebounds a game because shot selection was not really a thing. They would just they would just throw it up immediately. Yeah. I mean, they would just chuck up shit. They pucks on that baby. The other thing, the amount of like eight foot bunnies guys would miss is insane, insane. Backboard. It, yeah, is is very strange. Strange. I think yeah. we have flirted doing like a filling in the gaps where we watch old games, yeah. old movies, yeah, old stuff. Watching like old, 1960s old hoops. 1960s hoops would be fun. Do a little Wilt versus Bill Russell. And then we can really, we always talk when we do these goat debates like, oh, dude, Bill Russell fucking sucked. Well, let's get some some yeah. receipts, some proof that maybe Bill Russell yeah. did or did not suck. Probably did not, but the players yeah, he played against the team probably did. Let's, let's get our hand in the dirt. Let's watch... Th- Grind the tape. Let's watch the tape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot right, of good Bill Russell little, stories. Little, little a trade deadline stories, but yeah, yeah. We'll save that for another day, maybe or not. I don't know. I do like that idea. I do like that idea of watching uh, old old series or old highlights and or things of that nature, things we were not around for to uh, to talk about. Some context. Be, yeah, be a lot of fun. Uh, trade deadline. Obviously, the big one is Juan Soto. We're both Cardinals fans. They were. Technically in on him, it did come out that it seemed like they bowed out of the race the night before on the Monday. So did it end up with San Diego just competing against themselves? or I think the Dodgers like- were still in on him. Yeah. Uh, I, well, here's my thing. Obviously, I wish he'd played for the Cardinals, but I thank God he didn't end up on the Dodgers or the Mets or the Yankees. I think the Padres is a good spot. Baseball needs some variants we have been getting a lot of the same teams at the end of the year i guess the braves won last year which is a bit of a mix-up but a lot of astros a lot of dodgers a lot of yankees i think getting another team in the mix getting a team like san diego that's like a fun fan base very into it they're the only sport in town and also probably the most exciting young core of any team in the league now, if you add Soto to Tatis and Machado. Pretty good. Pretty good. And pretty, pretty, pretty good. fat, fat haul if you're the Nationals. If you're going to yeah. trade Juan Soto, I don't know you could have got a better package coming back. No. So if you're – no one will really know. A few people know who this – so it would have been it would have been Carlson. It would have been Gorman. It would have been Jordan Walker. It would have been probably Mason Wynn. Like they, if you count, so Abrams and Gore are not listed on their prospect ranks because they're already called up, but they were one and two on their prospects when they're called up. And they also sent their current number one and their current number three. So that'd be one, two, three, and five. So yeah. pretty good haul at rightfully so. Like if we're, if we're drafting all players in a pool, we're drafting players. He's probably the first pick. He's for sure a top three pick. I mean, 23 yeah, years old, already one of the close. best hitters in the game. Uh, uh, he's, it would be, uh, it's, yeah, it's an unprecedented haul for an unprecedented player to be available. With the way baseball contracts work, guys pre-arbitration that are multiple-time All-Stars literally have never been traded. No one younger than 24 yeah. who is a multiple-time All-Star has ever been traded in the history of the MLB. Juan Soto is the first. So yeah. there is no market for it. The market has been set that every single good young player you have will be traded to us. Yeah. Uh, I think it really balances out the national league. I think the Mets are rightfully uh, very high in those rankings with the Dodgers. I think the Dodgers are the favorite just overall Mm -hmm. to win, win the world series. 
uh, with the Mets close behind. The Braves made some moves to get better. I think they're still very, very good. Ton of good pitching, defending champs, champs, so they ain't the champs no more. And now the the Padres have put their, uh, themselves in that mix as long as Tatis can come back. And, you know, the fucking trash central is just kind of dragging their feet. They're, the Brewers are trading away their best reliever. The Cardinals got Quintana. You know, not great. We're going to make Jesus. the playoffs. Uh, we will probably get thoroughly trounced once we arrive. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, At the I mean, break, the Fangraphs, assume... from one of those sites tweeted out the uh, the odds, and we were like 51% to make the playoffs. Sure. Like, I mean, yeah, I absolutely think we're going to make it. Whether we're going to win a series is another another discussion. Uh Hopefully, theoretically, we won't have to play a play-in game, which would be helpful. Uh, yeah, well, that's that what we lost last year. Yeah, well, the Brewers are were kind of sellers at the deadline, I guess. Trade and yeah, hater, I don't of... really... Or just kind of a future play, realizing how good the Mets, Dodgers, Braves, Padres are, that yeah. they're just not going to compete with those teams right now. So get a little bit younger, kick the can down the road a little bit. Yeah, the uh, yeah the NL playoffs should be really fun. Mm-hmm. Can't I think imagine both sides should be really fun. I mean, yeah, seems like a collision course for Houston and the Yankees on the other side. Uh, you know, yeah. there's some other teams that can compete. The Central and that and that league is also pretty weak. Yeah, uh, the AL West. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, AL. Really, yeah, yeah. Really coast dominated sport right now. What the hell? The Midwest is really really dragging ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really dragging ass. Um, the Cardinals did make a couple moves, though. They pick up some pitchers. They uh, swapped Harrison Bader for Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. Kind of a weird move for the Yankees. They did add Montas, but as far as I know, they still needed Montgomery. I guess they could go to a four-man rotation in the playoffs if they have to. Uh, what did yeah. you think of Bader being traded? He had this current season when he's currently injured with a foot, uh, foot problem, and he had one more year left on his deal after that. Thought it was a bizarre move for the Yankees, who I would say if you're going to pick out a weakness, starting pitching depth is probably one of the only things you could nitpick. Uh, Montgomery, like you said, is like their fourth starter right now. Their other options are not good from what I can tell. On top of that, Harrison Bader is not going to start for them, and he's also, like you said, hurt right now. But even when he's healthy... Not sure how he fits into that outfield. I guess they did trade Joey Gallo, which opens up an outfield spot. Whether yeah. that'll be Bader, I'm not positive. So they picked up, obviously, Judge will be in right field. I suppose he could also play center or left. But um, Ben Intendi they traded for for the Royals. He'll play left field. And right now, I guess Aaron Hicks is their starter in center. So I guess. Then they still have Stanton, who most days will DH, but can yeah, play outfield usually, yeah. at times. He'll play outfield, little outfield, too. He'll play left field. Um yeah, I don't know. I guess it's a pinch runner, defensive pinch. sub. He's yeah, good. I mean, very start. like kind of a high I mean, uh, high price to pay for a guy that that's going to be. Yeah, his role. I mean they have they have Montas now. They have Garrett Cole. They have um, what's his name, the lefty that doesn't throw that hard. Um, Nestor, Nestor Cortez, and I guess Montgomery would slot in after that. I don't. What's Louis Severino's deal? Is he Sever- hurt? He still pitches. Yeah, they have Severino and they have uh, Domingo Herman too. So yeah, they have Herman's been pretty but, bad. I was looking at his yeah. numbers. He's been very bad. So a little odd to me. Yeah, uh, I would agree. Are you sad to see Bader go as a Cardinal no. fan? No, he's a no. Douche. I don't care either. Yeah, he's certainly a douche, and also. We're not. I, I would have puked on my shoes if we would have paid him like eighteen million a year. Which yeah, was didn't want to pay him. Dylan Carlson has filled in and been as good defensively in center field, and is obviously a much better hitter. Would rather yeah. open up another outfield spot for an impact bat in the off season, or I guess we don't really have any young prospects that fill in. Jordan Walker is playing right outfield now. now. Well, there you go. Well, he's like. 19 years old so that'll be a while probably but maybe not he's very good i don't know he's like the very number good. five prospect in baseball so pretty cool yeah yeah pretty cool i was surprised that rodon didn't get traded i wouldn't have hated the cardinals get him uh definitely needed pitching the the reds kind of traded everyone no one of huge consequence they did trade castillo to the mariners 
Brandon Drury to the Padres also. I think yeah. that'll go. That'll be a sneaky move come the postseason. He's a very good player. Drury is raking hitter. this year. We were just talking about that. He's having a career year. He's being he, he's, he's hitting very he well. He could have a sneaky like build him a statue in San Diego type of run. I wouldn't be shocked if he's like a World Series MVP type of yeah. candidate. He's that Real good like of a player. Daniel Murphy Mets run. Sure. We sure. just I mean that was fucking like Beltron with the Astros. He had like 15 home runs in a postseason, but you never know. He's hitting great. Um, Gallo to the Dodgers. Not a ton of other super consequential stuff. Um, Josh Bell also went to the uh, the Padres in that same deal. What <laughs> I can't blame I can't blame Eric Cosmer for being like, uh, no, not no, going I'm to staying. I'm staying. Go fuck yourself. So he ended up getting traded somewhere else, right? There was a third he team. Got- he got traded to Boston, and the uh, the Padres are just like covering like all of his contract for like the next yeah. three years. Oh, the cost of doing business. That's a that's God the heavy price for the Padres. There, you do it for Juan Soto. Um, oh, fuck me. Boston's probably pretty cool. Good organization. They stink out loud, so that's not they great. They're not really any better than the Nationals are. Yeah, the Boston so. did did some weird shit. They traded uh, Vasquez <laughs> away, their catcher. They added Tommy Pham. They took on the corpse of Eric Hosmer. It was a weird. Hosmer's deadline. been okay this year. Yeah, I'm just Hasn't saying, he? like the un the unwanted Hosmer. They just not like, an asset. Him up. They were looking. Yeah, for, not really. But... They had some on their radar, but yeah, no, he's been fine. Um, I think yeah, there's a lot of speculation that either Bogarts or Martinez or both would get traded, and neither did. Yeah, especially Martinez. I, I think they came out and said they wanted to keep Bogarts, but I thought Martinez was on the block and he would have been a big pickup. Uh, Mancini went to Houston. That could also be another, like, it would be a really great story, kind of like Brandon Drury. Like, don't be surprised if he wins, like, AL, ALCS MVP mm-hmm. for the Astros. He had a home run today. Um, that would be that would be uh, a nice a nice story. Shout out Trey I Mancini. Agree. Seems like a seems like a good dude. He's a cancer survivor. Mashes. He mashed yeah. cancer. Now he's gonna mash baseball. Gonna mash baseballs, dude. Rakes. Um. Any other? Ooh. Earlier in the week, big Dan Vogel back. One of your favorites got traded to the Mets. What a pickup! He had a home run today. Beef. Grand slam. Yeah. Beef beef. Yeah. That's what they were missing. Him and Pete beef. Alonso. I I'd watch those two hang out on the weekends. Hit back to back in the lineup. Just like go beers. to a driving range and try to hit balls <laughs> as far as they can. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that was it, so far. My... Yeah. Dude, yeah, sick. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. Um, Whit Merrifield. Daniel Vogelbach He's looks not like. Not going to play home games? <clears throat> Go ahead. Whit. Uh, have you ever seen that Bugs Bunny cartoon where they play baseball and all the other guys are like. When they're like. Gigantic monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what Dan Vogelbach reminds me of. And I think In more baseball humans. players should look like that. Yeah. It's peak. Yeah, it's it's the peak male form. It's. Peak mm-hmm. athleticism, performance, torque, yeah. power, explosion, yeah. punishing baseballs. Yeah. Eating if it's a three outcome game, why beers. do we have these athletic guys that can run and yeah, you know, a great point. move laterally? Three out, yeah. we're walking, we're, we're spanking, and we're striking out. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to, you analytics slappies, let's lean into it. Three outcome game. Let's get a team full of Dan Vogelbacks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good uh, YouTube thumbnail. Uh, can I win the World Series playing nine Daniel Vogelbachs in MLB The Show? Yeah. Uh, click. You'll be shocked to see what happens. Yeah. Make that. Yeah. You got that face with just a For replicated the, the video. <laughs> doing a little YouTuber face. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I put nine Daniel Vogel box <laughs> on the New York Mets, and this you happened. Sure, you got to make sure there's an arrow pointing to your face. Yeah, red something. arrows. Yeah. And you have nine pictures of Dan Vogel box mm-hmm. surrounding mm-hmm. you. It's mm-hmm. actually, it's actually a pretty sweet thumbnail. If I'm, now that I think, yeah, about pretty fire. We maybe, might have to do maybe it. maybe do this. Oh my! God. Who's the other guy? Who's the oh uh, Rowdy, Rowdy Tellez? You, you could get him too. Mm-hmm. Every sure. every player is those guys. Yeah. They could Honestly, play each other in a series. Idea. Who would win? 
<laughs> good video idea. All the pitchers are Rowdy Tellez and Daniel Vogelbach. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. Any more on the deadline? As, as... Uh, who d- did the Padres move up the the power rankings more than spots than any other team? I assume in your eyes. I I guess, but like. Like the Dodgers just kind of solidified because like the Dodgers had no they were already at the top, so they can't really move up any spots. Um Houston, right. I think, did improve. The Dodgers, I don't know, they who did the Dodgers even add? They had a Gallo, they added uh, who else did the Dodgers add? They didn't really make a lot of moves. Not that they had a lot of moves to no, make. They, they um they traded away Jake Lamb. They replaced him with Gallo, who's kind of a lefty meathead masher. Um and they I don't think they made another move. I can check. Um, they're already pretty good. I think they they're pretty set anyway. They they'll probably be in the market for some buyout guys, if I had to guess. Yeah, I think that's the only moves they made. Um, oh, they got Chris Martin from the Cubs, a righty reliever. Mm. So yeah, typical, I figured they would have got typical some sort of contender move. Here, the thing: Do you trust? Do you trust you Darvish and Blake Snell? And Joe Musgrove to lead the line against DeGrom and Scherzer, against Kershaw and Bueller and Urias. I mean, and all the guys that the Braves have. I just don't because it's good. I mean, like that's, th- Snell, I mean, that's a Dar- good three. Clevenger's yeah. pretty good. I don't know how he's been this year. Yeah. He's been hurt a lot, but I mean, that's pretty good. But the Dodgers and the Mets absolutely have better starting rotations and probably better bullpens. Um, the Braves, I mean, you know, the Braves, they're, they have some of the same question marks. Charlie Morton's kind of done. Uh, Max Freed's good. You know, they don't really have I'd say they have similar rotations. Yeah. Shove guys. Yeah. I'd say they have similar rotations as the Braves. Um, but like the Dodgers, even though they have, they'll probably bat Tatis lead off, Soto second, Machado third. Like the Dodgers still have as good or better a lineup, right? I mean, Betts, Turner, Freeman is as good yeah. or close to as good. And then you can split hairs from there on the like more role players. But I well, don't I think know. the I, trios, if you're comparing the trios, maybe it is close. I think I would take the Padres off the top of my head. The Freeman, Betts, mm. Turner, or Soto, Tatis, mm. Machado. Mm, that's close. That's, I don't know. That's, those are like... Six is the Soto's the best, best hitter of those six? Correct. Would we agree on that? Hitter. Yeah. Yeah. I think th- that trio is definitely better all around baseball players for the Dodgers in terms of pure hitters. They might even have the advantage there. I don't know. Freeman's an unbelievable. Trey Turner's. Trey Turner's somehow an MVP. like somehow like the most underrated player in the league, and also maybe like the best player in the league. Yeah, he doesn't get talked about enough with other guys that are in that tier. I mean, he's, he's, if we're talking quarterback tiers and baseball stars, he's the top tier. He's whatever top the tier. number one tier is. He's Absolute unbelievable. stud. Unbelievable. Absolute player. stud. So I think they're very, very similar in that. And then I would lean pitching with the Dodgers, I suppose, but it's, it's very close. It's very close. Yeah. So, I, yeah. Um, if I had to say right now, I'd think the Dodgers and the Mets are the two best teams for my money, man. If you got to play the Mets seven times and you have to face Scherzer and DeGrom at least four, probably five of those times, I mean, just what a nightmare. I think overall the lineup is lagging behind the two big But it's really – power. I mean, but it's It's good. not bad, it's good. Like Alonzo's good, been unreal. Lindor's been unreal. Starling Marte is having one of the best years of his career. Marte is not bad at all. It's certainly not bad. Certainly and not bad. they've got – for this year, at least, you could argue the best closer in the league. Diaz has been unhittable this year. Yep, a lot of it's a lot true. of stuff to like. I wish, that. man, I wish they would have traded for Contreras. I really do. Mm-hmm. They would have made their lineup. I very, can't believe very the Cubs good. didn't move him. Can't believe it. Yeah, what stunning. The They're point? just gonna let him walk for nothing. I guess. Ugh. What are we Thank doing? God, I'm not a Cubs fan. What a joke. Yeah. yeah. What a fuck. I was joke. actually so we were with our friends this past weekend, and. Over our through our lifetime, or at least over the past like decade, decade and a half or so, the Cubs and Cardinals have 
had very, very different tra- trajectories. The, ca- the Cardinals have always competed, have always said that their goal is to compete for the division and see what happens in the playoffs. They've never tanked, I don't think, in our entire life. They've missed the, They've rarely missed the playoffs. They rarely finish under 500. But I don't know if in our lifetime they've ever had the best team in the league, best roster in the league. Maybe the year they lost when they had – uh, Pujols, Edmonds. They definitely had the best team in the National League. They might not have been better than the Red Sox, the Yankees in 2004. Definitely the yeah. best team in the National League, though. Yeah, but they're a team that doesn't have the highest payroll, but always has a consistently like top third, like in the bottom half of that top third, like 10th-ish payroll. Um, always very consistent. And the Cubs have embraced tanking. They've been like the worst team in the league multiple years. But when all those prospects do hit, you can have a roster that's the best team in the league and win a World Series. Mm-hmm. Cardinals definitely take more stabs at it, but we're just discussing the the difference in those and what you would prefer. Because the Cardinals were like this year, I think they have no chance. But I would have said that about the Braves last year too. You get in, you get hot. Baseball's weird. Get hot for a month, and you can win a World Series. Um, I don't know. I just didn't know your thoughts on the differences in those i i don't know it's obviously I find a nightmare that, when you're the worst team in the league like it's the like it's awful i find that tanking in baseball is not a very valuable strategy uh there's no reason you have to lose the games you can get those prospects and draft good prospects no matter where you're at in the draft and i think you can still have a good eye and pick up good prospects in trades. Uh, scouting is the most important thing with all of that. I don't really know that your major league performance as a team really impacts that. I don't. You don't, almost don't really have to choose. If that yeah, makes it's sense. not basketball. You don't have to be in the no. lottery to get a good player. You know, you no. don't have to pick in the top five to get a good player. No, um, like the number one player busts like occasionally, like kind of like the amount of it times just, it happens there's a team that needs to win and will sell like a high level prospect for like a lefty reliever is fairly often. I mean, you're not going to, maybe that guy turns into a star, but you can get good players for your farm system doing that. Uh, It blows my mind how often some of these teams will just have a completely barren farm system. They won't make the playoffs either. And it's just like, well, who are you adding to your team? Like the angels are always that example. It's like, uh, our team is 12 games under 500. We also have zero good prospects and we have the third highest payroll in the MLB. Yeah. Just a dead how, end how, team. <laughs> how are any of those things happening? I do not understand. Yeah. 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 Um, and it also like you're talking about drafting too, but also a team's willingness to sell off all their players like they did with Rizzo and Bryant and to start over like the Cardinals never do that. Some no. teams never do that. Yeah. Um, Which can be frustrating sometimes. Uh, theoretically, of a good organization, we can make it work. But just the Cubs have no excuse. Like they're the third biggest market in the country to not have a high payroll. It just. Yeah, that's the other thing. I, you, can, you can blow this up, trade all these guys, but then just sign everyone you want in the offseason in theory. Uh, now no one wants to sign there though, because you show you have yeah, no you loyalty get... to your star players. You'll just ship yeah. them off for really no reason. Whenever we're breaking this down, like, cause he didn't, no, he, Rizzo he didn't has been incredible. Him. Rizzo's he been wanted... great. It's like, you know, like he was like, he's been awesome. He was beloved by every person in Chicago. Bryant is young, still playing well. Baez has been terrible. Um, like if they're trotting don't. out their opening day 2021 roster this year, they're absolutely in it to win this division without yeah, a doubt. Hundred percent, totally in the mix. I don't know, but odd. Yeah, I don't. I don't get either. It'd be very frustrating. I'm happy, happy with. Uh, like we get frustrated that they don't pull the trigger on some big moves, the Cardinals' ownership. But you know, they got Arenado, they got Goldschmidt. They've not done nothing. Yeah, it's nice to be be relevant for the most part. A lot of the time, we are often the bridesmaid in this situation. I feel like every single every, one of these candidates, every, the Cardinals are in on it. We're never, boy, we never, boy. Get John is John Mosaic like a one to just kick the tires on everybody? 
Yeah. It's like, eh, we'll check in. John Carlos Stanton, I think we're going to get him. Bryce Harper, I think we're going to get him. We actually Manny did Machado. get Goldschmidt and Arenado, though. So, you know, can't say that we're always the bridesmaid. Those two guys are very good. Yeah, we can absolutely might win we MVP. Can, when, when we can absolutely just bend you over a barrel and rob you blind, we'll we'll make the trade. Which, mm-hmm. you know, it's a, it's a winning formula. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Check in, uh, check in on 50 guys and get two or three and just absolutely rake them over the coals in a trade and, you know. Win every single trade. Yeah, it's a good that's, that's, that, that, that's a frustrating thing for a team having to win every trade like this well, Soto trade. If you like break it down from like an sure. assets thing, you could say the Padres lost the trade in like yeah. a weird way. Yeah, but that's not how it works. It's not about winning trades. It's about this team making this trade leading our team to more wins, which is Would kind you... of a weird uh, concept to wrap your head around sometimes. Would you? Uh, it's kind of, probably not because it's just we did lose the uh, the Ozuna trade. That's to be clear, the player we traded away just through a complete game shutout tonight. I would Sandy. Do, I would do anything to have him on this team. Yeah, I would, we need an ace. He is certainly boy, fits the bill. God, what a uh, favorite non cardinal in the league for sure. Absolutely shoves. Fucking Whew. monster. Would you? Uh, what I was going to ask is, would you? Give back the Arenado deal to still have Sandy. It's like probably not, but he's so no. good. No, I probably wouldn't either. Hitters but, are more valuable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you this: I would certainly give back Marcelo's in for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For a myriad of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Mostly because he couldn't throw at all, like twenty feet. And he really couldn't. Hit. He could hit okay. He's hit not, okay. Not a great hitter, though. He hit okay. Was not right. a cleanup hitter on a championship winning team, which was what we no, were. No, they almost got no hit by Anibal Sanchez. So. I was there. It was cold. Yeah, you were. It made me very sad. <laughs> um, quickly, if you're the Nationals, since that World Series, you look at the roster in that team to the team you have now, you've lost Max Scherzer, Trey Turner, Anthony Rendon, Juan Soto. Uh, Ryan Zimmerman retired the year before. Uh, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. Ugh. I Sad. mean, you, Steven Strasburg's like, arm fell off. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just a just a real fall from grace for that Washington team. I um, assume you traded. You you make that swap every time. If that's the monkey paw that you're in theory, you just wouldn't have to. You could have just kept all those young, really good mm-hmm. players. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they got rid of any of them, really. Rendon, they just didn't want to pay. That was probably a good call. Yeah, he just got hurt every year now. Um, mm-hmm. Trey Turner, fucking figure it out. He's one of the best players in the league. Pay him whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juan Soto uh, probably wouldn't have had to trade him had Trey Turner still been on the team. Man, man. Max Scherzer. Imagine Trey Turner. Didn't, like Max Scherzer didn't want to get traded, if I remember right. Like he wanted no. to stay in Washington. Now he's in your division, just shoving for the best, one of the best teams. Um, yeah, lead off Trey Turner, Soto second, Rendon third, Harper fourth. Pretty good. Mm. Josh Bell mm-hmm. had Josh Bell just traded him away. Mm-hmm. You know, what are you gonna do though? Mm-hmm. Prospects mm-hmm. though, am I right? Yeah, well, hopefully they're all really good. Hopefully, hopefully they're, they're all the best hitters in the league, like they traded away. Oh, man. Yeah, look at this fucking team. Oh, Patrick Corbin, he used to be good. Remember that? Yikes. He's really he bad now. Good now. Yeah, he's really, he's like embarrassing bad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this team is like, you know, on paper, not great. I guess it shows how good Juan Soto was that they wanted this team. Like Adam Eaton, Victor Robles. Brian Dozier, Matt Adams, Jan Gomes. You know, yeah. not the most elite of guys, but no. if you could have Juan Soto and Trey Turner on the same team now, you would like to do it. Yeah, that's something I would be interested in exploring. Oh, boy. Well, now they get to watch, uh, I don't know if I could name a single 2022 Washington National. Patrick Victor Corbin. Robles? Victor Robles? Yeah, uh, he's on the team. He is. He's he's there. Oh my God! Yeah, this is bad, huh? Oh, Nelson Cruz. Poor Nelson Cruz is still. He didn't there. get traded. He didn't get traded. I don't think so. Oh, 
Hmm. Travesty. I would have taken Cruz. According to this, he is still a Washington National. The boomstick? Oh, he's at 231 this year. Not great. Mm. Maybe he's not, maybe no longer the boomstick. The fall off may be coming. Or may yeah, well, he's like good. 40. He's like 40. He's so. 41 years old. It's natural. Yikes. Probably a little unnatural gotcha. it took this long. Maybe some questions should be asked. Yeah, I'd like to launch an investigation. Do you want to talk quarterbacks? I'm tired of talking Let's baseball. talk quarterbacks. Uh, we're bored <laughs> you, of baseball. Yeah. Baseball I want is you to, boring. I want, you to t- I want you to tee this up. I'm going to grab my charger, and then we'll, we'll tear some quarterbacks. So go ahead. Here's what we're doing, folks. Uh, you've probably seen Tear Maker. Uh, people make tiers of things. Uh, probably seen people do exactly this piece of content because we are fucking hacks. But we're going to put these quarterbacks into, let's see here, uh, seven tiers. We're going to tier basically every first string quarterback in the league, every quarterback that is in a quarterback competition at this point, every quarterback that could potentially start week one, I guess would be what the, what the field of players is here. Um, and yeah, we're basically going to rank these players without actually ranking them, but you know, putting them into tiers and, uh, I'm, I'm approaching this from a 2022 season, projecting to this year's super bowl nothing further after that so okay yeah, age does not really matter to me but if i there's a young player that i think has a lot of room to grow <clears throat> over this next 17 games plus the playoffs that so will this be is, reflected for me and i guess we're, we're gonna do season. this together yeah it'll be a it'll be a collective effort this is one season quarterback for one year nothing nothing further um are we going to put them in any specific order in each tier are we going to rank them or just throw them all in the tier no i think just throw them in the tier okay throw them in the Fair tier enough. if 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 some conversation arises and we feel the need to okay bring it up that's fine also if you want to look at the tier list it will be on youtube we will have yes, it on the be... screen here if you're watching right now you'll you see that right now it is now on the screen here uh, this is our tier list with our quarterbacks. It's a little small. Um, sorry about that, but it's you know we're doing the best we can over here. It's on the screen. It is what it you, is. You get the gist, I think. All right. Um, I didn't really put these guys in this bank down here in any yeah, order. We're gonna, we're gonna straight down the line. What are we gonna do? Yeah, we can. We do um, who we think certain at certain S tier. Uh, sure. So. Before I did this, in my mind, I think there are four people you can make an argument for. I think there are probably three people who I think absolutely are S tier. Thoughts on that? I think uh, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen are stone cold locks for S tier. I think there's a lot of discussion to be had there. No, I think that is fair. I think they're the two best quarterbacks in the league. Um, Are the other two uh, Tom Brady and... Aaron Rodgers, maybe? They are. I think if you want to tell me Tom was A, I wouldn't hate it. I'm, I would put them both S. Are you feel comfortable would, with both an I S? I would agree. Tom Brady, seven rings. Aaron Rodgers, back-to-back MVPs. I mean, I feel confident they're, they belong up there. And then, yeah, yeah I don't and know. You know I mean, Tom does. Brady led the league in passing yards and passing touchdowns last year. So it's not like it's a legacy yeah. award. He's doing the damn thing. He's performing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Through the most Still passes good. also, which, you know, is, is the thing, but, uh, where's, where's Tom at here? There he is. Beautiful bastard. Okay. So S is done. I don't think there was a lot of discussion to be had there. I think that's pretty cut and dry. I guess if you want to finagle some of those guys into A, you could make an argument. I don't know. I don't even think you could finagle them. I think that's a pretty firm, firm chair. Sure. sure. Oh, we could get this year, though. Would, would there have been any point in time last year where you would have made this list and not put Mahomes in S tier? No, no. Okay. I mean, as All a right. team, the Chiefs had like a month where they were like, oh, the, the league to figured fair, out the he Chiefs. He was bad also, though. He was bad. Like, no, it wasn't. Shit a, happens. Well, it wasn't a. I need some help, guys. He was also bad. And that Bengals game, he was not good in that second half. That's that has stuck it's, with me. Relax. 
I, I, I know. I, are you, I are you gonna plant you. your flag? Are you gonna plant no, your flag in I'm Mahomes not. is bad? I am gonna plant my flag and I am a little worried about the Chiefs the next season. Oh, that's that's a I'll buy that flag, but I think the yeah. quarterback's not the problem. Okay. Um we can we get can, the we can address the elephant in the room, uh some of our some of our lower tiers. Oh, well, jail. Um, Bottom tier go. is jail. I think there's jail, a certainty for jail. There's one man that I think absolutely fits in that role. He is uh, somehow going to be the starting quarterback for the Browns this year by, oh boy. Yeah. That is, he's going to be the yeah. starting quarterback for the mean machine. He's going yeah. to jail. Yeah. He's only going to miss six games. I mean, the NFL is appealing this just as a way to be like, oh, we actually do care when they don't care. It's absolutely... Yeah. Just a PR move. What Deshaun, as long as you're ready this, for Monday night in week seven. This arbiter, like, basically her ruling was, well, the precedent is that the NFL doesn't give a fuck about women. So as on the precedent, we're just not going to suspend them for that long. That was basically what the thought pretty, process was there. Pretty sick precedent. That's that's a, that's a good one. What the fuck? We could maybe, maybe, maybe look into that precedent. Maybe, uh. Maybe you know, overrule some Calvin Ridley's is existing betting policy. on games yeah, a I whole mean, season and we're come getting on, man. fucking come on. Twenty three sexual harassment cases gets you six games. Yeah. That's how in bed the NFL is with all these gambling companies. We're like, fuck, we cannot ruin this. We're getting billions from these guys. I mean, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Not great. Yeah, Calvin uh Deshaun Watson, firm jail, bottom tier. Put him under the jail, bottom tier, Deshaun um, Watson. Yeah, uh, Ben Roethlisberger, probably jail. Yeah, but we didn't know where to put him, so we're also going to put two. him in horny jail. So we have the shark could also jail. go to horny jail, but you know he's a little more serious and uh, true, a lot more accusations. So ben just yeah, we have, have the one thing. Still yeah, jail, jail and horny and jail for horny sure. Jail. Shouldn't have been doing that. Um, another horny jail candidate. Do we put? Zach Wilson also in horny jail. Mm. Mm. Are the rumors true? Does he also belong in horny jail? Mm. We don't have uh, that dog in him tier. He could be in that. True. Should we add That's another true. tier on the on the fly? This is going to be dog in him tier. <laughs> this is going to be a, a twelve tier quarterback. Mm. Right? We'll come back to him. We'll come back to him. Yeah, we'll come. We back. have we have we have Big Ben in jail and in horny jail. Uh, um. Cod God that goes yeah. to we, Kyler Murray, the Battle Royale War Zone champ. This can't be real, right? So there, if for those that didn't know, uh, Kyler Murray just got a huge extension, um, and there was a there was a stipulation in his contract that he had to watch. He had to spend so much time like watching tape or like at the facility working on football related activities because. And over the last few years, he started very well. And towards the end of the season, his play has fallen off. And some disgusting, sick freak took his performance and matched it up with the release date of Call of Duty and their and their and their two X their double XP weekends. And his play like coincided with the release of this game, and it lowered when like peak play times were had. Like he was playing call essentially playing call of duty rather than working on the playbook grinding tape being good at football so allegedly allegedly um allegedly. i think this whole thing is blown out of proportion and the arizona cardinals are absolute fucking morons for putting that in a contract you and not thinking let, if anyone on, found out man. about that that it wasn't going to be talked about because as Come far on. as I know and far as I've heard, that's never been a thing in any quarterback contract. Ever. No, first time ever. For rookies, for anybody. And you have a guy who is legitimately an all-pro quarterback already. Uh, like every team, well, we'll see based on this tier, but 27 of the 30 teams would kill to have Kyler Murray as their quarterback. Yeah. And, and yeah, it you seems just make like him look like he, a fucking idiot. Yeah. Also, if you're Kyler, he like made a big deal about it too, which I thought was weird. He got like defensive. Um, it's like fuck. You're, you, just... Like, if you're upset about which... it, why'd you sign it? Like, you knew it was in there. Yeah. You should have known it was in there, but then you signed it, and then you were mad that it was in there. Um, yeah. 
the whole thing is fucking bizarre. Well, odd move. Yeah. Um, so Cod God, he's in a tier of his own. Uh, theoretically, where do you think Kyler would be on this list? Um, My thought is B. I think he would flirt with the A, B line. Yeah. I think B. Based on his, like Closer you said, to down the, the stretch of these seasons, he's yeah. been... They started like 8, eight or 9-0 and oh last year and finished like whatever, 11-6 and six or whatever. I don't know. There they is finished, something to say. struggled on the stretch. It seems like the last two seasons, there's like a point in the second half of the year where he takes a big hit, gets a little banged up, and then he's just not the same the rest Never of the year, the both same. years. Because yep. he's a tiny little mouse. Um, tiny little guy. Needs to have that escapability. Because yeah. he'll die if he gets hit. All right. Let's move on here. Let's just kind of go down the line here. Burrow, <clears throat> I'm firmly Joe Burrow's A tier. Thoughts? I think he's, without a doubt, one of the 10 best quarterbacks in the league. If you were... You, he's better than Kyler Murray? Yeah. I would rather have Joe Burrow than Kyler Murray. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you think about this? He led the league in completion percentage this year. He had one of the lowest interception percentages in the league this year. Uh, I think he led the league in completion percentage and had the longest average uh, yard, uh, whatever, yards average length of target. Yeah, yards per attempt, length of target, whatever you want to say. Those numbers don't normally coincide. And all the while took the most sacks of anyone in the NFL as well. I, I think Joe Burrow is just... If I need a guy down the stretch in a game for a playoff run, he'd be he can make all that, the throws. Uh, like he doesn't have the sexiest arm of all these guys, but it's not like he has a bad arm. He's probably one of the, I think without a doubt, one of the five most accurate quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, another guy, another candidate for got that dog in him tier mm-hmm, for sure. Yeah, if that existed, yeah. um, okay, yeah, we can do a. And you know more, we'll I'm we'll more, see who else ends up in A because he's the first one in A so we'll see I I'm pretty I'm more A B firm. line yeah I'm, a, I'm fine with A firm on Joe and A Russell okay. Wilson this is an interesting one because last we saw Russell Wilson he was bad do we assume he was injured how do we foresee his change of scenery helping him um, I think it's assumed by about everyone that he'll be better this year because you know he had the worst season of his career last year. Thoughts on Russ? So, because we don't have them on the board yet, you kind of look around at who you're going to be comparing him with. Where does he slot in? I think, I think I'm more likely to put him towards the top of the B tier rather than A, because I think that's where he's at. I think he's B mid to upper B tier. I, I think. Hmm. It's close though, because I'm looking down the line. We've got some guys like those guys. Because I want him to be fairly balanced. I want to like take some stands on a few of these people. But I'm looking at this also as like, I don't see a lot of guys that I think are better than Russell Wilson. I mean, I see a couple, not a lot though. I think I would lean a, yeah, I think he's fringe. Um, we'll put him in a for now. Okay. Like he would be, yeah, that's fine. Would you rather have Justin Burrow Robert, or Russell Wilson for the season? Uh, Burrow. Okay, go ahead. Justin Herbert, firm A. I assume you agree. Oh, yeah. Hard A. Um, If I was going to bet on anyone to win MVP next year, I'd probably bet on Justin Herbert, I think. Yeah. The window is now for the Los Angeles Chargers. They've unloaded the clip. Justin Herbert's, you could make an argument, one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, Has the arm strength that will make your mouth water. You're Herbert over Burrow, correct? Stop Mm. it. I don't think it's crazy to, to prefer. I, I'll say this. Herbert is still erratic and makes some bad decisions and makes some poor decisions with the football, which I think we have a tendency to underrate when making these discussions. Similar to Mahomes. Mahomes does some shit that loses you games. Obviously, he does stuff that no one else can do, but he often does some shit that absolutely loses you the game. I think Herbert's a little less erratic, but... Burrow's not going to lose you games. And I don't know that there's that many throws that he really can't make that make it a detriment to your team. I would probably been, lean Herbert. I don't know. It'd be, it, Herbert's it's very Burrow close for me. For the, from the beginning, still Herbert over Burrow. But all right, well. the, uh, the gap has narrowed. Um, all right. 
This one could be tough. Matty Stafford. I'll let you Super go. Bowl, I'll Super let you Bowl go. MVP. Very talented passer of the football. I'll say the same thing, though. He led the league in interceptions last year, or he was, or no, he was like second or third in the league in interceptions last year, which is part of a product to how many times you throw the ball. There's still some bad Matt Stafford weeks last year. You can attest, you watch every Rams game. There were some bad Stafford weeks where he's forcing the ball all over the place, but you get that cup throw in the Super Bowl that basically he and probably Mahomes, Allen, Rogers, Herbert are like the only guys in the NFL that can like make that throw probably. So that's good. I mean, he's A or B. I, I, yeah, we probably need to move some of these because I would lean A because he won the Super Bowl last year, but I, I don't know. So you're telling me I that you're telling me that it's a discussion on who you'd rather have Russ and Stafford. Cause I don't think mm. it's a discussion. Sure. Yeah. I think Russ is. Man, I, uh, sure. That's fine. Mm, man. Think about two seasons ago, how we'd be talking about this. So, and I get, we're not, well, yeah, he played it for the fucking it lions. No, 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 no. With Russ, I'm saying two seasons ago, Russ maybe would have been ass. Or would have been close. Possibly. Yeah. And you know, the material changes he played an injured season and now he's on a better team with a better offensive line. But we kind of have to go off what we've seen. What we've seen yeah. has been bad. Yeah. All that was right. Two years ago. We'll move him down. I, for I think now. Russ I think Russ should lead the B tier. I think that's fair. All right. I will I say I fair. do I I think, you know, I think there's a discussion. I think if I agree. You, I think he's, if you I think both. if you Put Russ over Stafford. I wouldn't look at you like you had two heads. I would. Go fuck yourself if you do that. Um, Lamar Jackson, interesting one here. Not an A-tier quarterback for me. Not I even, put him in B. I think he's a B-tier guy. He's I absolutely agree. not C. He's absolutely one of the 12 best quarterbacks in the league. You yeah, can't I, I, I think mean, B is you, fine. You look at how much worse that team is without him and how much he just drives their entire engine. I don't know that there's a team who needs their quarterback more than the Baltimore yeah, Ravens do. The whole thing was built around him. It was built for around his skill set. Yeah, they would be a total one of the hardest guys well. in the league to game plan for. An absolute fucking weapon, but you need guys that can make perimeter throws to win the Super Bowl. Unless you just you do have you have like a Golden State Warriors level of perfect team built around him that fully complements everything he does, and they don't. So. No, I'll put him in B. I do think the Ravens have a bounce back here this year and are back to their dominant ways. though. Yeah, I think they have a good year, too. OK, another interesting one, because this is Derek this Carr. is your guy. I love Derek Carr. Uh, he's I think he's good too. worse than all the quarterbacks that are on this list so far, I would say. Um, wow, wow, that's you, big of you. you. Yeah, yeah. You tried to spin my words and make me say that Derek Carr was better than Stafford. I didn't say that. Check I said the, the gap is not gigantic. Okay. I said it's not a huge okay. gap. I did not say he okay. was better. Uh, okay. Okay. I agree that he's worse than all these quarterbacks on the board. I think uh, maybe we change it when we get more get farther down the line because um, I am looking, and I do think he's better than a lot of these guys. Might be a candidate to lead the C tier, though, or into the B tier. I think it's close. I would um, lean B, man. I mean, top five in yards, top five in completion percentage. Duh, you know, I guess turned it over a little bit. I'm all right with that. I'm I'm okay with that. I think he's a B tier quarterback. Like my thing is, as I look as I look like, at this bank of players, like there's not that many. I'm like definitely better than him. Yeah, I think you f- if you have a good team you feel pretty good about your super bowl chances with a b tier quarterback whereas a c tier quarterback you're in a, like a uh, Trent Dilfer's our quarterback type of situation where you really need yeah. all the other like stuff to be defense. really good so i put him in b <clears throat> i'm fine i'm fine with that and i think Dak Prescott is right in that tier with him i th- i think he's I, better I, than Carr i, I do yeah, think but he is better than Carr of, but is I he agree. better than Lamar would you rather have Lamar Jackson or Dak Prescott? I would rather have Lamar. 
I I don't know that Dak that. really gives you that. I mean, Dak is good. He's very good. Uh, he, I wouldn't describe him as extremely dynamic. Like Dak on the Ravens would not work. It just like depends on how the team is built, probably. But yeah, just in in a vacuum, yeah, I'll go with uh, Lamar. But yeah, I think he's better than Carr. And yeah, B tier, fair. Ooh. I think this one is a little interesting because he's obviously one of the most hated guys in the NFL and one of the most hated on. But if you look at the numbers year over year over year, he can play. Kirk Cousins is a good he can quarterback. Play a little bit. There's no denying that Kirk Cousins is good. I have bad news for the haters. Wins games, he can play a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, the guy can I think he's it. I think he's top, top ten in yards. I don't think he's Doesn't as good as Derek Carr. Uh, yeah, I don't think so either. I think he's a candidate to be at the top end of the C tier. Like he's you just said you don't feel great about your prospects to win a Super Bowl unless the rest of your team is pretty tricked out. Um God, he is right on that edge though. Like Yeah, he's C for me though. Sure. Man, are we gonna have to add another tier? Something like I don't think so. Maybe not. Eh, maybe not. Maybe like, I think oh, a lot of these. Yeah. Here's another one. Jameis. What do we do with Jameis? I, I was I'm, I might be getting Jameis pilled here because I've been looking at some stats and some stuff that are like Jameis is he's not bad. No, he's fine. He's not bad. He threw thirty if, if interceptions look, in a year. He did. He did. Whoops. You look at like first five seasons of your career and you can make numbers do whatever you want, but there's like a lot of like Hall of Fame quarterbacks that are very similar numbers to Jameis over their first five years. Do I think Jameis is going to make the Hall of Fame? I don't think so. I, you know, long career. We'll see. But uh, are you trying to make a pitch for him in the seat here? I will say when I'm looking at the rest of the quarterbacks on here, I can't see many I would rather have than Jameis. I think he's I, – I would be fine with C tier. Yeah. You could do much yeah. worse. Yeah. I mean, if I'm looking at the rest of the guys on this list, I'm I'm literally seeing – no. I mean, I think he would be the next guy I would pick. Thoughts of the guys <laughs> left down here. I think there's maybe one guy that I would rather have. But even that okay. is like, I don't feel great about him. Yeah, I feel good about him and C. All right. I'm cool with it. Ryan Tannehill would have been the guy that I might have put ahead of him. I think Ryan Tannehill is also C. I think Ryan Tannehill. Do you think Ryan Tannehill is significantly worse than Kirk Cousins? I guess not significantly, but he's definitely worse I than think Kirk Cousins to me. They're like Spider Man meme ish. Really? I think, he's, I think he's worse, maybe a little bit worse, but I don't think there's a huge discrepancy. No, I'm fine with him and C. I think he. You could argue in D, maybe. We'll see who else ends up there. But yeah, I don't. He's just, he's never going to do it for you as like a Super Bowl contending team, I don't think. Um, yeah, see, I'm fine with C. Baker's D Ooh. for me. Baker's worse than all these guys in this tier above. Yeah, I would agree. He was so bad um, last year. And much like the rest thing, you got to go off what you saw. Uh, even, even good Baker is not his middle of the pack. Like, not great. Like, Best case scenario, Baker is like the 14th best quarterback in the league. Yeah. D. Good. D is D makes sense. Uh, and I would yeah. say I'd put Goff right there in D with very him. similar. Yep. I think very low upside. Like no shot to be like in the top half of quarterbacks, probably, but in the in the upper teens of quarterbacks, I think that's fine. Mid pack guy. Mac Jones. What do we do with Mac Jones? <clears throat> System quarterback. I think he is on the fast track to just being in this Ryan Tannehill, Kirk Jared Cousins, Goff. Tier, yeah. Jared Goff for the rest of his life. And he might already be there and he'll just stay there forever. Yeah. Uh, like I feel he was just objectively better than Baker Mayfield last year by a lot. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's also propped up by the Patriots sure. system in Belichick, which is, which is big helps. But um, it's not like he's got a lot of weapons to like cover up for. He no. doesn't have good guys. He's throwing the ball to. Like it's fair. I, I just this imagine tough, some actually. of these other second year quarterbacks, if they're in that system, I think they would have done worse. Man, you saw how bad Trevor Lawrence was last year. Like, if he's pro I mean, I mean obviously he's got a better he would, coaching and they're like making him make better decisions, but I mean Trevor Lawrence was fucking terrible last year. And him I get the Belichick talent is there. Been way different. 
Maybe, but fuck, dude. He like there's bad, and then there was he was terrible. Um. That being said, I th- I would put do you Mac put him in there Jones yet? In D, I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, I think he's good enough to be in that. Yeah, I think that's fair. All right, Justin Fields. Here's the thing. They're, the Bears are going to be fucking terrible, and he's going to wear the brunt of a really bad season, I think. So I would almost put him in E because he didn't really show me a lot last year that got me excited. No, I mean, obviously, there's the flashes. Plays. Yeah. For the most part, was not good. Don't know how much that's his fault. And the team is going to be even worse and even more barren of talent. Like Darnell Mooney is his best receiver. It's disgusting. Uh, malpractice Dude, they, fear the uh, Chicago Bears. They brought in Nikhil Harry, um, so they're going to be really stacked up on the outside. Yeah, he's fine. He, he's shown up. Mac Jones was better than him last year. He's shown no reason to be any higher than that. Um, but yeah, the upside, the flashes we've seen, he shouldn't be an F. Desmond Ritter. I mean, I struggle with all what these rookies. Do? I just put him in F because yeah. I, I don't yeah. foresee him ever. One, I don't think he's good, and two, he's a rookie. I almost don't even want to like. I feel like I'm going to put all these rookies in F because none of them I high, are I regard highly, and none of them I anticipate having good seasons this year if they play at all. Yeah, you're probably right. They're, they're probably all going to be an F, but you know, just to make one of these tiers called rookie. <laughs> is what it, we'll see who else is ends up in there though. They might not be all rookies. Here's an interesting one, Trey Lance. We have almost nothing to go off of here. I think he deserves every football person in the world is just sucking this guy's dick, telling me he's the second coming when we played last year, he wasn't very good. But everyone obviously in the building, every Giants person is like, This guy's the truth. You see a lot of media guys that are at camp saying this guy's different. Uh, if you're going to have a Jimmy Garoppolo who's, you know, could make an argument for a C tier, D tier, definitely D tier at the lowest quarterback, and you're just going to let him walk for this guy, they obviously see a lot of talent on a team that is, you know, built to win now. Outside of, outside of maybe Trevor Lawrence, just based on the talent, I think there's no other player in this tier maker we're going to do right now that has the biggest upside to jump than Trey Lance. Yeah. We're probably going to put him in like E or D, probably E. And I think he could be like B tier next year. Like if we do this again before sure. camp next year, he could be like A, B tier fringe type, like super, super high upside. I think right now we can't do it because we just don't know. But I think he's already better than everyone in the C tier. Like I think he's talent wise. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think he could and be I at think the end if of the I'm B tier. I'm projecting, I would put him ahead of Fields because. He's going to be set up to have a much better season. Definitely. Like, oh, it's just yeah, tier B. The team's loaded. The team's yeah, got the team's the best one of way, the best callers yeah. in the league. I'll yeah, put I him think, in D. I mean, I'm I'm fine with E because he's done literally nothing. He's he had a similar season to Fields. Like he made some dumb throws. He had a bunch of flashy high upside plays. If you want to put him in E, that's fine. But I'll put him in D. I think, like you said, projecting towards the end of the season, I. I I'm hoping, like, I think it'll be fun if he's really good. Uh, yeah, I think he is. I really right. do. Trevor Lawrence, what the fuck do we do with him? E, I mean, I think he's he was yeah he was so pretty bad. bad. I mean, it's there's a reason he was bad. There was a incompetent moron running the Jacksonville Jaguars, but I think E's fair. Yeah, another guy that could be like B tier fairly easily next year. He just figures it out, better coaching. I think he could jump very, very high. Yeah, Oof. Doug Peterson's a good offensive coach, but yeah. I think we'll it's going to go. I think it's going to go a lot better. I really do. I hope so. There's people talking there's people talking that that division's kind of weird that the Jags could be a bet to win that division. Houston's yeah. terrible. The Titans have Tannehill. They've had some turnover in the offense. Henry, Derrick Henry off the injury. And your Brown out. Yep. Uh, Col- I think the Colts. The Colts seem. Colts have a pretty have a pretty they're strong. Like going to be penciled in no fewer than nine wins, no more than eleven wins. They'll just be in that range, probably. Yeah. They seem yeah, assuming probably. assuming Taylor's healthy. Obviously, they rely yeah. a lot on him. But Daniel Jones, E for me, I think. 
there's guys on here that are worse that are F's. Yeah. Yep. So I'm fine with that. E. I'm fine with that. Like I putting him right. and Desmond Ritter in the same tier is disrespectful to Daniel Jones, I would say. Yeah. I was I was considering that he's like Mac Jonesy ish, like maybe Ooh. fringe fringe okay. D E, but I'm fine with I'm fine with E. Yeah, I mean these I think four under guys... Dable I think under Dable he could have a pretty good season. I think he's like terrible homeless man's Josh Allen. Like he can move pretty well. Um, obviously not the same arm as Josh Allen, but a similar skill set on the feet. Um, I could see him rushing for like six or seven touchdowns and having a pretty good year in that system. So yeah, but right now he, he's done next to nothing. He's been pretty bad. I agree. Uh, remember when they made Jake Fromm take that knee on like third and thirty-five last year? Oh my awesome. god, the most cowardly shit of all down on like the three yard line. They were on their own three yard yeah. line with like third and thirty. They just ran a quarterback sneak. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's one of the funniest plays in the history just of the, the most NFL. Dead dog shit of all time. Like people will tell their kids about like San Antonio Holmes in the back of the end zone and uh Joe Montana to Dwight Clark in the end zone. I will tell my kids from Jake Fromm. Took a knee. Quarterback from sneaked four. on third and thirty from inside their own 10 one of the greatest plays in the history of this yeah game. yeah yeah oh zach well i mean zach wilson's absolutely in horny jail he just is for the fun if, of the if theoretically maker. if he could bust out uh no effect uh, maybe pun intended yeah. but no pun, pun intended, intended. Uh, i mean he's e i think like yeah I fields and lawrence he was probably better than lawrence he was definitely better than lawrence definitely last better year than lawrence uh, but a yeah, lot of the same big issues. Arm, big arm, made some nice plays, but does some dumb shit. Like yeah, that's... I, I'm not low on the Jets this year. Yeah, Neither. We'll see how Zach Neither. is, but I like their Elijah coach. Moore, I like a lot of the Elijah moves. Moore getting like, a lot of good buzz. Yeah, Should good have better player. offense. You know, the the talent yeah. is improved. Yeah, the running backs are strong. Drafted um, another running back back to back years, which is kind of weird. But real quick, just for my, um, just for the OCD, the sake of the OCD folks, can you switch the horny jail Roethlisberger and Zach Wilson? Just so it's like, yeah, there. So the the Roethlisberger stack up on that. That makes me feel better. Thank okay. you. Um, Here's another guy. I don't know where another, to put man, Carson you know Wentz. There's a lot of guys where it's like, eh, it's like who the fuck. Uh, they're fine. Like, there's a lot That's of quarterbacks like that. Everyone below here. <laughs> it's just like, take him, grab bag. Yeah. Carson, Carson Wentz, Wentz, I think. Ugh, God, ah. when he's shitty, fuck, is he bad. Remember that interception he threw left-handed that got returned for a touchdown? I like, mean, from his own goal line? Like, if Trevor Lawrence in his first game of his career makes that play, you're like, okay. Carson Wentz has been a starter in the NFL for six, seven years now. However long yeah. it's been. Like, yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, Is he better I, than Jared Goff? Man, he's like C, D, borderline. Like he's for sure worse than Cousins and Jameis, right? I, there's no way you see for me. He's absolutely worse than all three of those guys. Okay. Yeah, I think he's in between maybe Baker like, and Goff or somewhere in there maybe. Like, man, there's times where he's E. I don't think he is for the sake of this list, dude. People I'm, forget he was going to play- MVP that year. If I'm a playoff team and Carson Wentz is my quarterback, I'm not super fired up about it. No. Like for going to the playoffs with him as my quarterback, I'm not super stoked. Yeah, um, odds are you have the second best quarterback in that playoff game. I'm guessing. Yeah, I think D probably. I guess. I would, yeah, I'm fine with that. I think D probably makes sense. Ooh, it actually, hurts. I've said, this multi- I've said this multiple times. Really interesting one here. Go ahead. I'll have you start. Oh, high variance again. And having a guy that's a running quarterback, not the best thrower of the football, but an absolute dynamic weapon running the ball who, when used correctly, is very hard to stop. I mean, he's not E and he's not B. He's C or he's D. Ah. I think he's I think he's C. I think he's C. Think I, I didn't think I would say that. Him than I'd rather have him than D. all those guys. I agree. I agree. Dude can't throw, like for sure can't make all the throws, but I think he offers much more. Well, literally much more than some. 
proved he's good enough to lead the team to the playoffs last year. Yeah, and, won, they won ten games. They won ten games. Yeah, yeah. I think he's towards the end of C. Who would have thought? See. See. To be clear, he can't throw like at no. all. No. To be clear, quarterback driven league. C tier quarterback Mitch, can't throw. Mitch Trubisky. Well, well, well. Ah, God, how bad is Matt Nagy? And what do we what do we think of Matt Nagy? And how? I mean, Trevor Lawrence were saying the coach fucked him up. Did the coach fuck Mitch Trubisky up? I have. I think he is an is an E tier. I can't put him in an F tier. No. I can't do it. No, I he's think definitely he's e. not F. Okay, good. I, I'm I'm cool with E. I, I don't I, think I, he's he's he's. he's he probably is a deserving starting quarterback in the NFL. You know, he's one of the yeah. 32 best quarterbacks in the NFL, probably. 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 Yeah. I mean, off a year where he took like no snaps, it's tough to really. Yeah. Put him in Not a lot to go like off last year. And golf. I mean, you know, had some flashes in Chicago. He just got dicked around so hard. Yeah. He can move a little but bit. But rightfully can... had some very, very bad stuff that was absolutely his fault in Chicago also. Yeah, I think he's fair. We'll go with that. How about James maybe should... Garoppolo. Maybe we should what just make a tier. Say? Maybe we should just make a handsome tier. Mm. James, most at the top of that tier. Most handsome. Um, Boy. Uh, I mean, he's boy, Series boy, boy. D. I mean, he's probably C, right? Again, a guy that can lead a team literally to the Super Bowl, can yes, win multiple playoff games with him, kind of in spite of him, probably. Probably. Uh, that here's Cowboys the game, they absolutely won in spite of him. Is he... The same thing we said about like Lance, like the, the team around him is going to be way better than what is going to happen with Fields, and he's just going to perform better. Like, if Baker Mayfield or Jared Goff play in that system, like, are they... Better or worse than Garoppolo? Like, I don't, it's hard to, when you have an awesome play caller and a great system that's pretty run heavy and you can play off play action and you have a great tight end. Like, San Francisco does a lot of favors for you. I don't, I think he's probably D tier. I don't think it, I mean, I don't know yeah, if you can put him like, over. I mean, we literally saw Jared Goff in this exact situation. Yeah, went I to think the him and Jared, Same. him and Jared Goff are, very similar Spider-Man meme guys, like the same I agree. person. I agree. I think he's so. he go, should go in D. They got two D-tier quarterbacks. Pretty good. They'll probably be the only team with two quarterbacks in the same tier. If I had to guess. True. Yeah, if you got two quarterbacks, you got none. Um it wouldn't Matt surprise Corral. me. If, it wouldn't surprise <laughs> me if uh someone got hurt in camp and Garoppolo got traded to him. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously F tier here, right? Yeah, I don't. I shouldn't have put any of these rookies on here. It's kind of silly. Um, uh, I would like to say, I would like to say, uh, I'm a g- grind the grind the tweets guy in camp, grind the beat reporter guy in camp. People are loving Corral. Corral's getting buzz. Already buzz. second team. Already taking snaps over Darnold with the second team, making all the throws. I'm just saying, Baker, he's coming. Who did we both say was the best quarterback in this class, Wes? 100%. We know we know quarterbacks. We know ball. And uh, we could just skip to him right now. Kenny Pickett looks like fuck in camp. He's got small hands. Dude stinks out loud. They took him at 20 or whatever. They Wrong. Mitch Trubisky is going to take every snap for this team because Kenny Pickett stinks. He's Or what about Mason not- Rudolph? Mason Rudolph also in the mix. To be the starter in Pittsburgh. Well, that's not gonna happen. No, but he's F because he fucking he's sucks ass. Terrible. He is Remember that time? garbage. Remember that time he got beat over the head with his own helmet by Miles Garrett? Speaking <laughs> of greatest moments in NFL history, Woo! he could have died. Yeah, that would have been a bad Assault. luck. Miles Garrett probably wouldn't be playing football anymore. Assault. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's an F tier. He sucks. It's terrible. Um, Drew Locke, F tier. F. Do we need to talk about Geno Smith? F tier. Yeah. Man, Seattle's going to get the number one pick this year, huh? They're going to have their yeah, pick probably. a Young or Stroud, it seems like, or Will Anderson. So, good for them. They need a quarterback, so they'll probably go with one of those quarterbacks. But, yeah, they're going to be terrible. Really bad. Two F-tier quarterbacks. Pretty bad. Yeah. Um, They'll be the only 
team with an F tier starting quarterback. I think it looked well, I guess we'll see, but uh, for now, uh, Matt Ryan, he looked hmm. pretty dusty last year, but oh, he's 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 a corpse, he's so dead. But but is he D tier or is he E tier? He's not F tier, no. he's certainly not E tier either. He's, I, I was saying. He's D then. He's D. He's Wentz. He's these statue, like kind of noodle ish arm. These guys in C, they're, they just, you can do more stuff. Way more dynamic. Way more dynamic. Yeah. He's, he's D tier. He's, he's Goff. He's Garoppolo. Can't move. Do any of these guys need to go down? Cause this is, we're getting a little full at D here. Do any of these guys need to be moved? If you want to move Trey Lance down, cause he's really done nothing, I'm fine with that. Or, I think it's probably fair to move Trey Lance down, right? Yeah. I like, just, I, I personally think he's better. Based on everything I'm seeing, it seems like a foregone conclusion that he's going to be good. Like, nobody yeah, is like, like anything agree. bad about him. I 100% agree. But, like, it, yeah. Mm. We, can, we can move somebody else. Who's like, the worst Lance is going to start over Garoppolo this year. Like, Lance is just going to have a better That's season true. than Jimmy Garoppolo, Maybe probably. We move, do we move Jimmy? No. Like Mac Jones, we can we can have Jones we can better than these guys. We can put Trey Lance up there. That's not too full. No, I think it's fine. Uh, if anyone, yeah, I would move cool. Carson Wentz down, honestly. But yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out in the end. If we need to make any adjustments, Marcus Ooh, Mariota is an Marcus... E tier for me. Agree. Marcus Agree. Mariota is worse than all the guys in D by my Agree. calculations. Very Trubisky, very Trubisky ish. Very Daniel Jones, similar skill set there, also. Yeah. 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 We'll throw him an E. I'm still holding yeah. out hope for a good Marcus Mariota season. I was I was big on him coming out of college. Yeah. You know, I think folks there's still some meat on that bone. My sickos in the fantasy streets. Watch out for Mariota. If he gets if he gets all the snaps this year, Ritter might take some from him. Big rushing upside on Marcus Toting Mariota. The rock. Let, me t- let me tell you, toting it. Had some Ten. some run specific, you know, sets in Tennessee. People Ten. forget. 10 rushing scores for Mariota? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cordero Patterson's not going to run for all those touchdowns again. Someone else is going to no, have to fill dusty. in a few of those those spots. Boy, that's a long neck. Oh, Davis Mills. I mean, he's he was better than Trevor Lawrence last year. That's a fact. I'll put him in E tier. I, like, I think he's decent. I think he's okay. Yeah, he's I don't okay. think he deserves to be an he's F. Better than all these people. For sure, I thought he showed. I thought he showed flashes. There's people in Houston that I think people assume that they're going to be a bottom five team, um, and they're going to draft a quarterback. There's people that like Davis Mills. I think he could be okay. That he could be a, a decent guy. Um, we'll see. But yeah, I thought he was okay last year. I think he deserves to be not an F. Yeah. Ooh, Tua. Yikes. Tua non. Hmm. Hmm. Two and on. I don't think he's. I don't think he's he not, deserves to be an E. No, I don't either. Hmm. Here's. I, I think. Is there anyone in D that should be in C? Maybe. Trey Lance. <laughs> <laughs> um. Should we add another tier? No, what's wrong with this? You could have tiers with six or seven or eight guys. Sure. That's fine. You're right. You're right. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be all symmet- symmetri- symmetrical. Yeah. Um, I think he's a D tier, D tier guy. I think that's fair. Just right in the meaty part of the curve. Yeah. He's pretty damn average. Yeah, I think so too. Is there anyone to do that could be in C? I, I just don't think so. I don't think so either. I think there's a there's a significant there's a glut. Gap. There's just a glut in the middle. Yeah. Bunch of bang impromptu. Dudes. If I'm going to rank these guys, okay. Ooh, if I'm going to rank them based on how I think they'll finish the 2022 season, if I'm going to rank them, I would probably go. Oh God, I think Trey Lance is going to be a stud. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. really do. I think I would probably. Well, see, like Jimmy, he's probably not going to play, so that's kind of weird. I'll probably do that, I guess. Maybe this. Yeah. I think I'm Washington's cool going to fucking suck. I think Indy will be pretty good, so he'll be kind of propped up by the run game. Tua, he'd probably be 
Panthers will probably stink. Panthers are going to be so bad. Yeah, they're going to be real shit. So maybe he even bumps down here. Yeah, I think that's right. Golf has got a. I, I think the Lions could be okay. Um, yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I think that's right. Trey Lance is going to be a fucking superstar, though. Um, uh, Sam Darnold, just throw him an F. Is that right? Yeah, he's terrible. terrible. Taylor Heineke, last guy on the board. What do we he, think of Taylor? I, don't know. I think he's better than like he's a, one of the better backups in the league. Um, e ish, uh, better than Mason Rudolph, better than Geno by a lot, better than Drew Locke. Absolutely, he's not F. Um, I think E is fair. Yeah, I mean, Wentz is going to start over him, rightfully so. I mean, God, Wentz is so fucking bad sometimes. Would you be Would you be shocked whatsoever if they went to Taylor Heineke at some point this season? No, not even a little. Yeah. Yeah. How many I, playoff I games think... has Carson Wentz started? Any? Taylor Heineke started one. He got hurt when they won the Super Bowl, and then... I think Foles came in for him the year after also. Or no, I think they played the Bears in that double doink. No, that was the year they won the Super Bowl, right? No, they, that was the year after the double doink year, right? Double doink year was the year after they won the Super Bowl. I'm almost positive. Okay, yeah. you would know. Or you would know better. they won the Super Bowl? I don't fucking remember. But Nick Foles definitely was the quarterback. We say all this to say Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz, not the guy. He's not very good. He's not very now are you, good. Are you still are you still happy with the top of the board? Obviously, S tier is fine. Um, do you want to? Would you want to move Russ up? I think Russ is a tier below the A tier. <sighs> we can move Man, him. Up. I would be I fine think, with it. I think there's just absolutely a scenario where we're like, oh yeah, Russ is Russ fucking is incredible. sick. He's we can so move him good. Up one. We can move him up one. Like I, he's just better than these three guys, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there almost needs to You're be right. like a, a B and a half, but he's just absolutely better than these three. Yeah. There's a there's a scenario where Russ has a better season than Stafford. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think this looks pretty solid to me. Like, what is this? Uh, so this is what? 12 plus three. So this is, yeah, like top 15 guys. Yeah, that feels right. Does my math right we, there? I think we 12 I think we have plus the three. Yeah, four, eight, 12, 15. Yeah. And then like the big meaty curve, the upper teens, low There's 20s a guys. a lot of pretty mid quarterbacks. Yeah. I think we have the definitive rank. Where would you, again, where would you put uh, Kyler Murray? Uh, top, of the B, top of the B tier, somewhere in there? For, yes. Yeah, probably here. I would probably put him right here. Thoughts? Um. We just yeah, I would I would agree. The bad for him is just pretty bad. Um, talent wise, speaking, he's here talent wise for sure. Hypothetically speaking, any idea where you'd put Deshaun Watson? I put him. We here. haven't seen him play in like two years. I would still put him here. Like I've never yeah. seen him play bad as an NFL quarterback. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's unbelievable. Like he's really yeah, good. he's, he's incredible. A, he's a so good. piece of shit, but he's sick at football. Yeah, there's a reason that his legal proceedings are going the way they are, and it's because he's incredible at football. Like uh, any of these guys do what Deshaun Watson did. They never play prison, football again for the rest prison. of their lives. Yeah. Without a dead. doubt. You're cut. You're never signed ever again. Maybe any of yeah. these guys. I mean, maybe like these two would be okay. I mean, these guys, dead. Like, yeah. never See sniff ya. a football field ever again. Yeah. Honestly, most, most of these of the guys here, yeah, you know? yeah. You like even if like gone, you gone, you sure gone. Even if like gone, almost. I mean, I guess you're established. You're like a Hall of Famer, so maybe you could get some slack. Like you if Kirk Cousins probably... did that shit, fucking later, Kirk. See ya. Yeah. Oh, Jameis, they'd burn him at the stake. <laughs> yeah. They'd throw him, throw him in a fucking river with cement shoes. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd like to if uh. So we've done all those hypotheticals. Hypothetically, uh, Ben Roethlisberger comes out of retirement. Where would you rank him? F behind Arnold, dude, stunk below jail. Fucking yeah, hell, yeah, yeah. Uh, I probably would yeah. rather have Kenny Pickett Sad in a box in the is. ground. He started over Mason. I mean, he was going to start over whoever, but he oh. probably would rightfully start over Mason Rudolph right now. Mason Rudolph is bad at quarterback. I I think this tier list is correct. I think it's right. There, it's a definitive list. I don't think there's any arguing it. 
No, I think where's the really sticking is... points? Maybe so, I think people will bitch about either. Honestly, both ways about Lamar. Like you can argue he's an A, and like his. There's some people he, been... he's S. There's some people that say he's C. He's the most polarizing guy in the league. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some people yeah. would argue about Burrow. Probably some people would probably have Stafford lower. Probably. Um. I can't imagine Herbert's lower than this, and I can't imagine yeah. a lot of people have him up here. I think uh, it's pretty good. I think, it's, uh, I think people so. would argue that Jalen Hurts it could be a little lower. He's got a pretty low floor. Sure. Uh, guy that could exceed that, like I, like you said, like Lance I'm could end you. up up here. I'm telling you. I don't see a world where Goff is any higher than this. He's He's here or he's here. Hopefully yeah. he's not here. I don't think he will be. Mac Jones, no. like highest he could be, is here at C. Uh, I'm, I'm realizing this is a podcast and they can't see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, Lance could be A. No, Lance could be B. He has. I don't know, B dude. Right now, that roster is so inc- like. If he did what Joe Burrow did last year, wouldn't be stunned. Like Joe Burrow sure. had an okay rookie year, had, it was fine, and then got hurt, and then. Took a team to the Super Bowl. Man, how long was I saying this guy could be here? This guy could be here while it was a podcast. I probably said that a lot and didn't realize it. Hopefully not. Well, uh, that's incentive to go over to the YouTube channel and subscribe so you can see all the video content that we do. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. This like, is not going to work because it's now over. But if you're listening to audio only and you get to the tier maker part, pause it, skip ahead to the YouTube video and watch this portion of it. We're actually mm-hmm. going to cut this out. Watch only this. You can just click directly on this tier maker thing. Yep. Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Get the best of both worlds. Ooh, there's man the outro man song. Man don't, man don't, man don't, man don't. Get the best of both worlds. All right. Um, like you said, Davis Mills, he could finish in D. He could out sure. play his coverage. Um, he could stretch, you know, his, his, he could stretch his little neck up there. Fields against all odds. The talent is there for him to be like, let's see, Lawrence has the talent to be higher, and I think the Definitely. team will be pretty okay. Uh, At least the offense will be improved. I think he'll his numbers should be better. Again, Tua. Tua could be C. Like, he's, he's forget. Sure. He's got the pedigree. He's got the weapons now. Not a lot of excuses left for Tua at this point. If if no. the Dolphins' Time offense to... is bad, we know whose fault it is. Time to shit or get off the pot, Tua. Let's fucking make it happen, pal. Oh, yeah. I mean, like if Lamar, Lamar, I think Lamar could be poised for another really big year. If Lamar ends up higher, yeah, people forget their whole surprised. team got hurt last year. Yeah, they had fucking a bunch of running backs I've never heard of in my life. Uh, they still don't have anyone to catch the ball, though I, I do like no. some of their younger players. But Mark Andrews, but yeah, not really. Right. Yeah, the no number no one receivers. option you want. But on the bright side, he can't throw the perimeter, so why put anyone good out there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's that's big brain. Yeah, it's big brain. Yeah, why put someone that can get open out there when he can't hit him? Just just toss it over the middle, baby. I got a hot take. I think the Cowboys are going to be a fucking shit show this year. You think so? I think D- Zeke is going to fall off a fucking cliff, and Jerry he Jones is going to force Jerry Jones is going to force Mike McCarthy to play him, and it's going to fuck up the whole shit. Like Tony Maybe. Pollard right now is better than Ezekiel Elliott, just as a football player, is just better than he is right now. That's I agree. I stand by that. I think you're not watching the games if you disagree. Hundred percent agree. Um, yeah. When you pay these guys, offensive line gets worse. Got to trade away Cooper. You got to rely on these young receivers. The defense loses pieces. Happens to the best of us. Who's their number two? Cedric Wilson's their number two wide receiver. Like, no, is that he's right? not there either. He's not there either. Um, there James Washington. Receiver? James Washington just had a Jones fracture, and so it's it's going to be Lamb. And James Washington it's be, was the two. Like, he, well, Michael Gallup has but towards he's, ACL. He'll be back. But he's like gonna miss, month. yeah, like five nope. games, four or five games. Yeah, uh, Jalen Tolbert it was a rookie they drafted like late. He'll probably play some snaps. They have Noah Brown, who I think is okay, but like has never caught more than like twenty balls. And he, yeah, so they're very very thin at receiver. Wouldn't be surprised if they brought somebody in until Gallup gets back. I do like Gallup, but he's off the knee injury. Yeah, it's not a great scene. 
often hurt. Yeah. Not a great CD. Going to be a lot of double coverage for CD, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 All right. The definitive, the definitive TNF quarterback tier maker. Let's do Where this. Where were we wrong? Where were we right? Yeah. Hit us in Sound the off in the comments. We'll see it. We'll see it next training camp. We'll do this again. Let's just make it a tradition. We might make might as well do these for every offensive position, honestly. Yeah. If you want to know yep. who the 32 best guards in the NFL are? Yeah. Yeah. Keep let's, it see it. let's let's give let's give player takes on yeah, like defensive tackles. Yeah. Aaron Donald S. Who would you like to Plant see us rank? Let us know what position. You know, maybe like place what about kickers. Just things. Yeah, things people? in general. You, we can do anything. Colors? Yeah. Letters of the alphabet? Wait, colors of people? We shouldn't tear that. Ooh, that would be, you know, that could be spicy. I think there'd spicy. be some disagreements. It's just one tier, baby. It's just one, it's just one I tier. I don't even see them. I don't even see it. But it's all it's yeah. all good. It's all just black and white. We don't, yeah. we don't see color around here. No Asians, no Hispanics. <laughs> No Middle Eastern folks. No, no Arabic. Uh, so we're not going to tear colors of people, but we could no. do, we could do colors. You know. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. Let us know. All right. Appreciate you listening. Like, subscribe. We'll be back with Bachelorette content. I know, it's the best content we do, without a doubt. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back on Tuesday with that. And uh, and more random dumb tears that we'll bring out later next week. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you for that. TNF tears, baby. See TNF ya. tears. <laughs>